We are celebrating Pride Month all month long here on Channel 7 and today New York City broke ground on a center that is dedicated to honoring the gay rights movement at Stonewall. Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore live in the village as we look ahead to the big Pride March on Sunday. Crystal. Good afternoon, Mike. Well, lots of excitement here, despite some dark sentiments from lawmakers here today about the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. Today was also about celebrating the progress that's been made in the LGBTQ community. Behind me, you'll find the new home of the Stonewall National Monument Visitor Center, right next to the Stonewall Inn Bar. Now, Governor Kathy Hochul, Senator Schumer, and activists held a groundbreaking ceremony this morning to mark the start of this new chapter in LGBTQ history. The Stonewall National Monument Visitor Center will offer in-person and virtual tours and art exhibits for anyone looking to learn more about the fight for LGBTQ rights and the role Stonewall played. The Visitor Center is the first in the national park system devoted to the gay rights movement. It was right here patrons of the Stonewall Inn fought back against a police raid on June 28, 1969, a time when New York's strict anti-gay laws made it is risky for members of the LGBTQ community to congregate in public. Now, the Stonewall Inn riots strengthened the movement already brewing in the country. We spoke with members of the community about what this new center means to them. It's important that we have the Stonewall Inn as, as part of our long and powerful history, but to have a visitor center in a place for me that you know we could feel grounded, you know, to, to welcome people and to remember our history and to formally have a space where we can have that, it's really powerful. My history is important to know where I come from, to know the people that have fought for me to breathe and be here, to have agency over my life. And there's still a little bit of time before folks can enjoy the center. It opens in 2024.